Board games have been around for what feels like forever. In fact, according to an article written by Peter Piccione in 1980, one of the earliest known board games named Senate was played by the ancient Egyptians as early as 3500 BCE. And now, Monopoly, created in 1903 by Elizabeth Maggie, is a household name. With the advent and further development of video games, tabletop gaming in the traditional sense has fallen to the wayside. While a few games such as the Civilization franchise emulate these games, they still feel more like a video game with the facade of a board game. Longsword Tabletop Tactics reverses this to where it feels like a real digital board game. My name is Brodimus, and welcome to The Thing About Longsword Tabletop Tactics. Longsword Tabletop Tactics, which I will refer to as Longsword from now on, is a Steam game currently in development by Zero Sum Games. The game is still in early access, and because I have bills to pay, I was only able to play the demo. Since the game was just released for early access in July of 2017, though, I feel that this won't impact the review. The game itself is gorgeous. The landscapes of the board and even the skybox are very well done, so the game is just nice to look at in general. This is a big point for me, because even Civilization, which isn't bad looking by any stretch, is still more stylized. I love stylized games, but having a digital board game that looks as nice as this is refreshing. The game plays like a traditional strategic war game, similar to a more complex game of chess, if your chess pieces consisted of dragons or ballistic. In reality, Longsword more closely resembles Heroescape. I love Heroescape, and if you're unfamiliar with the game, it was a build-your-own battlefield war game that featured feudal-era samurai, skeletal aliens that could regenerate in water, secret agents, whatever Dund was, and a slew of other historical, fantastical, and science fictional creatures and characters. As it stands now, only champions, as the pieces are called, stem from fantasy settings. These include dragons, skeletons, swordsmen, wizards, so on and so forth. The developer, Dan DeChico, stated that he wants to have over 350 cards upon release. You build a deck of cards prior to play, and during the game, you choose which cards from your hand to summon next to your nexus using mana. Choosing which units to field in a situation provides an additional layer of strategy. On top of this, you can move all of your units on your turn since they all have their own action points rather than picking and choosing who to move when. The goal of the game is to destroy your opponent's nexus. Along the way, you can capture runestones so you gain additional mana on each of your turns. From what I played, a bulk of the fighting happens around these runestones as they are strategically important. You have more mana, you can summon more units to the field. Another part of this game that really drew me in is that, like Heroescape, you can create your own maps. This was half of the fun in Heroescape for me, and the map editor in Longsword did not disappoint. There is a lot you can do in the editor from different types of flooring, such as numerous dirts, stones, and woods, to trees, rocks, and other decor, to even including lighting and sound effects. The immensity of the editor is almost staggering, but in a good way. With the amount of freedom allowed to creators, I can't wait to see what other people can create with this tool. One cool thing that I thought is that you can chain maps together to create a campaign, your own custom campaign. Being able to create what is essentially your own story and being able to share that story is a really neat idea, and I think a lot of cool things will come from it. Now, most of the content is fantastical in nature. Ruins, castle walls, wizards, dragons, there isn't much outside of this. However, the intent of including other genres is clearly present. A couple of modern day vehicles and even city buildings are available in the editor. As I said earlier, the game is in early access. Immediately I think, well, what problems am I gonna run into while playing? Surprisingly, there was very few. I didn't get a chance to try out multiplayer, but the game itself ran pretty smoothly otherwise. About the only problem I kept running into while playing was a severe lag spike whenever a unit was summoned to the field. The game would freeze for a few seconds, but would eventually right itself. I do think $30 is a bit steep for the game as is, but with the intent of continued expansion, I think that price will look more and more appealing. Longsword Tabletop Tactics brings a lot to the table, pun intended. It captures that feeling of playing a strategic board game incredibly well, and quite frankly, is a lot of fun to play. I look forward to what Dan will continue to add to the game and what awaits us in terms of what the game has to offer. If you like strategic board games like Heroescape or Arena of the Planeswalkers, or even if you like the Civilization franchise, then I think you would enjoy Longsword. If you like this review, let me know in the comments, give me a subscribe, or just click the like button. Once again, my name is Brodimus, and that was the thing about Longsword, Tabletop Tactics. Later, everybody.